In this brief lesson, I'm going to talk about the basic principles of interaction design. So before I talk about the actual principles of design, we talked about the various characteristics of interaction design in the previous lesson. And we know that interaction design is in fact coming from the user's perspective, not so much of the interactive elements that you place on the website or within your product. It's in fact the usability from the user's perspective, how the user feels about the fact that while browsing your website, how much time does the user spend? What are the conversion rates of the user? And that's what essentially implies when we talk about the interaction design. So let's take a look at some of the basic five principles of design first. The first principle is balance. Then we have proximity. Alignment is the third principle. Fourth is repetition, and then fifth is contrast. We'll take a look at each one of these and see what we mean by various principles, because these are important as you develop your skills to become an interaction designer. You ought to know these in the back of your mind. So let's take a look at what balance is next. So balance in design is similar to let's say balance in physics, right? So if you were to place a button on the top, then the next button would probably uh, would be on the bottom or onto either side. So depending upon your own requirement, the distance has to be the same among items, right? Same thing with the boxes. So if one box is 250 pixels by 250 pixels, then the other box should follow the same logic the larger shape close to the center can be balanced by a small shape close to the edge. The balance provides not only stability but a good structure to your design. And essentially it is the weight distributed in the design by the placement of your elements, right? So if you have a web page, for instance, whether it's for your desktop or you're designing it for a mobile device or for a tab, doesn't really matter. It has to balance your elements on the screen. They must balance each other out. So in other words, no one single element should be the odd one out. It should be pleasing to the eye where when you're looking at a website, all of the elements placed on the site must be coherent. Then comes proximity. Proximity literally means closeness, right? So it creates a relationship between elements. So for example, it provides a focal point. It does not mean that elements have to be placed together, by the way, even though the word proximity implies closeness, but not necessarily in the world of interaction design or the principles of design. Elements should be visually connected in some way. So for example, if I have a box, then there's some text that follows that box. Notice a good example would be your business card, right? So if on a business card you have your logo and then you have some text and that has an interrelationship, right? It seems synonymous. So proximity is important as far as the principles of designs are concerned. Alignment, equally important, allows us to create order and organization on our site. So for example, if you were to align elements, this would allow them to create a visual connection with each other. So an example would be like dividers on your web page. So you can have, let's say, boxes that divide and place these lines to create sections on a single page. And they must be aligned equally, right? So in other words, as the user scrolls down a page, notice everything stays the same. And then we have a repetition. It simply strengthens a design by tying together individual elements. So no matter which page you go to, you see the same concept, right? So if you go to the About Us page or the Services page or the Contact Us page, 
things are repeating, right? So the boxes are repeating, the elements are repeating themselves, the proximity is the same, the balance is maintained. So repetition also helps to create association and consistency, and it helps in branding your website as well. And repetition can create a rhythm, a feeling of organized movement. And this sticks to your mind. So even if you were to go away from the website, in one form or the other, these pages will stick to your mind because they're being repeated, right? From one page to the other. So if you buy a product, you go to the next page where you add your products to the shopping cart. And then you go to the next page, which again, all of these are similar. So it creates a nice branding perspective or gives a branding perspective to your site. And then we have our contrast, right? It's just the juxtaposition of posing elements. And these are helpful when we talk about the principles of design. The opposite colors on the color wheel, for example, or value, light, dark, or direction. It could be any one of these options. Contrast allows us to emphasize or highlight key elements in your design. So when we looked at the cletus.com site, notice the background was white with light gray, but there were red buttons placed. So let's get started. These principles of design have been actually implemented on cletus.com. So next, let me in fact show you what do we mean by balance, proximity, and so on by visiting our site. So here we are on cletus.com and notice we talk about balance, right? So things seem to balance. Then we talked about proximity. We talked about repetition. We talked about contrast. So all of these in one form or the other are found on this site because that's how we tried to implement the principles of designs when we created this site. Even though it seems pretty basic, right? You see some interactive elements. Now these are interactive, remember? This is not interaction. But when we talk about contrast, for example, notice how these learn more, enroll now and free download and these red color sort of like contrast with the background so your eye catches these right away as soon as the landing page appears. And the proximity is simply this icon, cloud computing, relates to the learn more button on the bottom. The e-learning icon relates to the enroll now and so on. And then of course the balance because all of these four services are balanced on this page. So this way seems fundamental but very important. So practice with these principles of design next time when you create a site whether it's in WordPress or your programmer or a developer. Getting the skills of interaction design is always helpful. So hope this helps and let's move to the next lesson.